I want to teach you how to tell the difference between a vein and an artery. See what you're looking at here is a vein which bring oxygen poor blood back to the right side of the heart. From here blood goes into the lungs where it's pumped with oxygen creating arterial blood. It's then pumped out to the rest of the body through the largest artery, this structure here, the aorta. Veins can be differentiated from arteries by a couple different reasons and we'll be discussing the main differences in this video. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Dr. Nav Badesha. If you guys enjoy this content, please be sure to click subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps us grow this channel. Thank you. First off, veins are kind of blue in color, and that's because the color of the blood vessel is blue, not the blood inside of it. Some of you probably heard that deoxygenated blood is blue. That's not true. The color comes from the blood vessel, but another way I can tell is it's very thin and flimsy. You see, veins are very flat. This is why doctors use an ultrasound on veins to check collapsibility to assess volume status. What happens is veins take blood back to the heart. And they do that when skeletal muscle like this contracts it and squeezes the vein and pushes the blood back towards the heart. Arteries on the other hand are going to be a little bit different. And see these are going to be more muscular, thick and pink in color and as we squeeze it we notice it always bounces back. That's because as the heart beats the arteries expand due to the pressure and as the heart rests they collapse back. The numbers we use to measure your blood pressure is by using the full expansion number as the top number versus the full collapse number as the bottom number. Hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Comment below, let me know some questions you might have. All right guys, peace.